All right, have and have not fans. This is a video I meant to do a couple weeks ago. I didn't forget about it. It's just that uh, the last couple episodes have been jam packed with different details that I had to do videos about that this one kind of fell on the back burner. It has to do with uh, just a question I asked you all and I wanted you to respond back with your um, opinion on it. Let's say that in terms of married couples and I'm talking about the Harringtons and the Criers here. Let's say if Veronica and David and then Jim and Catherine work together. Let, and again, I'm not saying that the marriage has to be perfect, but let's say they put their differences aside in terms of, you know, uh, Jim with all his uh, mistresses and then Veronica in her mental state. <clears throat> but let's just put it this way. If it came down to it, Team Harrington versus Team Cryer is almost like a, a Captain America Civil War when all the promotion was. Who's Saudi Raw on Team Iron Man or Team Captain America? And that's pretty much just it. This is what this scenario is. When it comes down to it, who do you think would win? This isn't like an all out fight, like, you know, Catherine with a knife. This is a terms of resources, wit, and determination. Like, who do you think would get as low down as possible to beat the other side? Honestly, that's a hard that's a tough call to make because here's here's what I think. I don't think we've seen I feel like we've seen Jim Cryer be low down and dirty because that's who he is. I mean, literally, that's who he is. I mean, remember at, at the beginning of season two, he tried to pawn off the whole hit and run situation in the black sedan for Jeffrey instead of his own son White, which who he knew did it. Remember that? That's when David first gave the I'm a good friend, but I'm a better enemy. Speech to Jim. And that just lets you know right now that when it comes to his son, he does love his children, but when it, well, by Catherine, not Celine. He loves his children. If it gained down to it, he would betray his best friend instead of, you know, either making Wyatt tell the truth or getting David. Because again, he could have just, David's been with him all the way through season one and even before then. All he had to do was tell David, hey, this is a situation. Can you help me out with this? But no, he decided to, uh, David, I think Jeffrey is the one to hit that little girl. What? Are you serious? Like, ser I mean, I was shocked when it first happened. Like, for real. <sighs> See, I mean, I'm, I'm still lost. Well, that shows you how impactful that scene was because David was truly upset. <laughs> and uh, you look at. Jim Cryer, he's having a bad luck streak. I've talked about that enough in all of my videos about how since he got out of that jail cell, everything has been going wrong for him and it's been something else. Catherine, we've seen her have her mental breakdown, you know, after the whole Jennifer not giving Wyatt the, well, excuse me, Jennifer not helping Catherine get the inheritance money back because she knows what her, she knows her son and with that money, it would destroy him. And then after shooting Jennifer, that was it. She lost it. So we seen her at her worst and, you know, running around with a knife trying to, you know, stab Veronica. Then we get down to Veronica herself, who is arguably on some kind of medications, drugs, and she's just having her own mental, you know, instability. Honestly, and again, I could be wrong with this. I don't, if I'm not mistaken, out of the three, we haven't seen the worst of David. We've seen him fight Jim. I don't think that's the worst of David. That's him pretty much, you know, living up to his, I'm a good friend, but I'm a better enemy. When he thought that Veronica was dead when he saw, you know, the cops and everybody outside of the house, when it turned out to be Maggie Day, Maggie Day he went in the jail cell, you know, beat the crap out of Jim, which again, rewatching that fight, it looked like he hit Jim in the nuts. And that's why Jim went down because he was holding his own. Then Jim, um, David hit him below the belt. And that's when he started kicking his ass, which was a bit unfair. But then we saw him go against Benny, who again, you know, mess around with his wife. Well, you know, uh, soon to be ex-wife, I'm not mistaken. So I feel like, put it this way, in terms of cunning, I would say, and it's a tough one. This is uh, this is honestly a tough call. <sighs> I feel that the women are more dangerous. I feel like the women are more dangerous because, again, you think back to season one, it was almost like Team Jim and David versus Team Veronica and Catherine in terms of whenever the whenever the boys had a plan, the women had an even better plan. You know, like the whole Veronica finding out the truth behind Jim and Candace by, you know, uh, looking into the case of Benny being arrested for drug possession. 
And that just, and again, this show, I've said it before, I said it again, that this show taught me, well, even, I've known the lesson, but it just solidified the whole never underestimate a woman with a plan. So, you know, on the flip side, if it came down to Jim and David tag teaming against Veronica and Catherine, it's hands down Veronica and Catherine will win. But in this scenario, it's tough to say because you have to look at it, you know, David and Jim, David and Veronica and uh, Jim and Catherine, they have to be working, working together as well as using a calm mind. I feel like Veronica and David would win simply because David is that, you know, reserved care. Not to mention, I feel like he has a lot of animosity towards, I think Maggie Day said it best in terms of, well, how does it feel to be, you know, like Jim's right hand man, you know, like you'll never be the one in the spotlight. And he, you know, poetically said that, you know, he's confident in who he is as a black man and, you know, all that, all this and that. I feel like he does have some Harvard resentment against Jim because, again, he's always playing second fiddle. And then Catherine, respectively, towards Veronica because she knows that Veronica is just a hangers on for her own publicity, so to speak. So I, if it came down to it, I felt like, you know, Catherine and Veronica would beat Jim and David. But then on the flip side, David and Catherine would definitely beat Jim and um, uh, Veronica. They tag team. But for the sake of this video, I feel that in the at the end of the day, I think that Veronica and David would win because you look at how Catherine tried to pin the murder of um, Jennifer on Veronica. But even Jim was like, look, that's stupid. She's one of the best freaking attorneys in the state in the country. And she can actually just pull the rug underneath you until, and pretty much get the truth. And I feel that David being, you know, the one who's, he's not, and if I'm not mistaken, he even said it to Candace, like he's not the kind of guy to, you know, just pull a gem and he doesn't let his emotions fuel his judgment. That's one of the most powerful things about David, that he's like that, you know, lying in the grass that'll wait until he pounces at the right moment. He studies his prey. Jim is just like, you know, makes a jerk reaction based off, you know, the man downstairs. Catherine is is like David but at the same time you know you push her too far her emotions get the better of her and then Jim as he said usually has to clean up the messes that Catherine makes so with that being said I think that the Harringtons take the victory that's just my opinion on this and this isn't a super long video because if I went into every single detail as to why I feel one um, couple went over the next that will be a long video trust and believe me, that'll be a long video so i just wanted to do you know kind of get the conversation going who do you think would win and why and again uh let's take the malones out of the equation i feel like that'll be a very unfair advantage as well as you know veronica getting you know uh quita and them you know pretty much if it came down to just david veronica versus jim and Catherine. not to mention veronica supposedly has all these all this dirt and juicy, you know, blackmail on all three of them, David, Ron, uh, David, Catherine, and Jim. So if anything happened to her, she said those pieces of the puzzle, puzzle will come together and it wouldn't be pretty. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll talk to you in the next video.